Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. Blake Cousins, we've got the new UFO videos just in to Third Phase of Moon. Let's roll it. Está girando. Oh. Ese es un ovni. Un objeto no identificado. Miren. Mientras que hacíamos deporte. Ven, que te pueden abducir. ¿Escuchan el ruido? ¿Y cómo gira? Llama Llama. El salfate, ¿dónde está salfate en este momento que lo necesitamos? ¿Dónde está salfate? All right, we're looking at this, and I'm um, get a closer look at it. Uh, some enhancements. Uh, you can hear it in the people that are filming this. They're shock and shock and awe. Uh, they're saying that can't be a cloud. Uh, some people are saying it's an V, a UFO. Uh, this can't be uh, what we're looking at. Could it be some kind of mothership? I don't think so. Lenticular cloud, or it could be something uh, cloaked in the clouds. Brent, your thoughts here? Yeah, I really like these a lot. People, you know, whatever they think, they're actually thinking there's something out there. This could be in their mind uh, some sort of alien invasion uh, what i'm looking at is more likely a weather phenomenon yeah again a lenticular cloud but look at that it's a it's in its perfect shape it looks like a classic flying saucer this is fun if, if i caught this if anybody catches a phenomenon like this upload it to youtube and share it with us and then people still believe and seen it with their own eyes ufos that have cloaked themselves or hit hid uh, within these cloud formations i'm not saying that is the case but you just never know if you're you're looking into the subject matter uh now more footage uh coming in and this one is kind of uh interesting stuff especially as we're looking at this coming in it's it's just interesting nasa is revealing images of what's happening right now on the surface or i guess uh, on the outer layer of the sun and something very concerning is appearing and it's happening right now we're not gonna be fear mongers but uh, this is just quite amazing i've never seen anything quite like this a uh, gaping black a uh, crevice just ripping uh, through the sun almost resembling as people are stating on the internet the eye of uh, saruman brett your thoughts here yeah the eye of Sauron, i believe <laughs> but, but anyway we're looking at something it's a phenomenon and again this we've never seen anything like this in our lifetime is what i've been aware of i've, I've looked at thousands of pictures of the sun through soho and we've captured quite a few objects it seemingly enters the sun itself powering up now we're looking at this this big black mass with kind of a, a sideways triangle to it and you see these little spots of light uh, that are kind of maybe grasping at their last straws of light i would hope that the sun fills up and heals itself if if that's uh, what it's doing is is there a problem with it who knows yeah, we're looking to actually follow up on exactly if NASA has any statements, maybe tomorrow. But right now, we're just receiving uh, these images and the information uh, basically states that there's uh, solar winds and things like this. But again, it doesn't seem something mundane here. This uh, seems uh, so abnormal. Uh, it, if you're asking me, I, I'm just I want to get your guys' thoughts as you're looking at this, as we're doing this live premiere and give us a big thumbs up. Uh, Brett, any more uh, last thoughts before we get to the new videos just in? Yeah, I'm just looking at how large this is. I'm wondering how many uh, planet Earths you could fit in within this mass here. If, shoot, I'm, I could take a guess, 20,000, maybe a possibility that you could fit in there, maybe even more. Again, this thing's, it's huge. It's taken up the, a huge part of the sun. It looks like a scar. It's definitely uh, curious. I think we should uh, definitely keep an eye on this and, uh, and see how the sun uh, recovers or uh, something else uh, transforms into uh, another formation. Who knows? And we've got a lot of amateur astronomers that follow us right here at Third Phase of Moon. Uh, have your eyes peeled. Get your uh, telescopes out with the heavy filters and see if you see anything strange uh, going on uh, with our star uh, within our solar system. Now, uh, like I said, more videos. Check it out. Huh? 
ちゃうかいや何個もあったよ今あれあえ All right, we're getting some information. I'm thinking this was a shot in Japan just earlier this week, and、uh, we're looking at some kind of a strange glowing object suspended、uh, seemingly in midair, and then it traverses、uh, behind the trees. I'm just seeing if I could see if this could be a refraction of light on the windshield, or, but then again, I'm seeing it actually go behind the trees. I want to. Do some enhancements, get a closer look. It almost seems that it's, it's in front of the wires and then it's behind the wires, and maybe it's just the strange light. But then again, it seems that it's off in a distance as it bleeds behind the trees, and I'm not seeing any manipulation. This thing's strange. I'm trying to gauge the perspective on it. Yeah, to me, it looks like it's、uh, somewhat off in a distance. It's not in front of the power lines. I'm thinking maybe it's just、uh, the intense light, the energy of it kind of drowns out the passing of the lines itself. Again, this is a pretty cool phenomenon. This seems pretty large. Again, it's off in the distance. I can imagine this thing being maybe, well, I'm not going to take a guess on the size. Could it be maybe the sun shrouded within the clouds itself, creating this illusion of something、uh, close? Within the vicinity of, of the landscape, there, hard telling if, if this is some sort of new technology and we could see the brightness of it illuminating, it got this person's eye to, to film this.、Uh, I really like this UFO a lot here. Yeah, and it seems that it was spotted by this eyewitness in kind of a populated area. So, again, Japan,、uh, we're wanting to see your UFO videos, the phenomenon. It's happening worldwide. But again, as we're looking at this, again, as I enhanced it, it just seemingly seems to be in front and then behind the wires, but then definitely behind the tree. It's just very strange.、Uh, again, the, maybe the luminosity of whatever this object is is just so bright it bleeds through the power lines and the digital's just not quite picking it up. I, I'm still thinking this is off, way off in the distance. So, again, guys, what are we looking at? Very strange stuff indeed. Now, again, there's、uh, videos that have been making the round recently,、uh, once again, and I think some of the videos we need to see again and share it with you. This one from、uh, Ranger H. This is something that's been talked about in the major media the spheres, the, the spherical UFOs in close proximity to military situations. And again, I watched this video earlier today and I said, I, I got to go back and、uh, revisit this and do a little bit more enhancements. Some people were kind of dismissing this off as dismissing this as just. Practical、uh, CGI effects or some kind of an illusion. But what we're hearing from the inside is that、uh, Ranger H has been actually experiencing the phenomenon and catching it. And we're,、uh, we're going to keep an eye on this、uh, very closely. But again, like I said, I was going to do some enhancements. And I want to get your thoughts as you're watching this. And Brent,、uh, let me just pull it up and get yours. Yep. Uh, pull that up. And what I'm excited about too, as well, we got a video that we're going to be showing later in this、uh, episode. It lasts 12 minutes, and you, you don't get that very often. So we're adding a little、uh, brightness and contrast here coming up and a good close up. Let's bring it in. Here we go. Again, it, 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 it doesn't seem to me that there's a CGI, even though it's a possibility. I just like the way that the dynamic works. It, It's, it seems that it's actually making a, a circular motion, and, and there's a distance from the camera, then it pulls in a little bit closer. And the video that we're going to be showing a, a little bit,、uh, in just a bit, it really has the same、uh, phenomenon, the same kind of look, the spherical object that seemingly defies the laws of physics. Again, the, you see this flash of light, almost like a. A camera flash. Is this the propulsion behind it? Did you see that incredible maneuver? And it was just liquid in its、uh, way of its maneuverability. This isn't a balloon. This isn't a drone. It was, it was quite amazing. And、uh, hopefully we can see that once again. But again, you see a little pulsating light underneath this metallic sphere. And again, is this, if this is the means of propulsion, it just really doesn't make、uh, much sense to. How it's operating? Is it intelligent? Is, is it a biological being?、Uh, 
it's just very strange and again we have this 12 minute video we're gonna roll it uh raw tonight but again it's in it's basically the same object uh, captured in different parts of the world yeah, it almost reminds me of a Star Wars Imperial probe droids or uh, whatever Luke Skywalker was doing and practicing with the lightsaber. That kind of technology, that's what it, it rings out. And it'd be, I'd be really happy if we could grab this thing out of the sky, bring it on the ground and, and see what's making this thing tick. Now, uh, here we go. A 12 minute cut of a, a new video, a silver orb that just seems to be searching the area. Let's take a look at this. I like the perspective there as we're watching this. Uh, the cameraman pulls back, shows that whatever this is, and he pretty much could line it up, do some math on it. Uh, this thing's off at a distance. I would say at least maybe 200 feet, maybe up to a thousand feet away from the camera operator, but it's just uh, hanging there, just seemingly just steady in the sky. I'm not seeing any kind of manipulation, any strings attached. Again, we're watching this and me and Brent have watched this video just over the past uh, hour and a half, a couple times, it lasts for 12 minutes, but near the end, it even gets more and more uh, dynamic, in my, in my opinion, showcasing that what we're looking at is very authentic uh, footage. So let's just check it out for a little bit here. So a little advice, if you're uh, coming across a UFO and it's just hovering there, uh, focus in on it. If you have uh, good lenses on a camera or your new iPhone, uh, we have really cool lenses where you can zoom in on the object. But m really importantly too, is you wanna like back it out. So you kind of show the area that you're in to give a little bit more dynamic and a little bit more of a trifecta of maybe figuring out the size I'm liking the clarity here though. It's like some people say uh, we only see dots or uh, blurry shots of a UFO. This thing looks just like um, maybe a disc or a sphere, depending on what angle. If it's a disc and it's uh, upright, it could look as a, a sphere, which we've seen the, the kind of discs that are horizontal instead of vertical. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this and it's there's something weird about it because at the top, at kind of the two o'clock position, you, you might see an appendage uh, kind of pop out and then the six o'clock position, you, you see something else kind of protrude almost. I'm not saying it's a tether because I don't see it attached all the way down to the bottom of the screen. It just seems to be kind of attached to this spherical ball. Then I, I think I just saw another uh, kind of appendage pop out to the left side of this. Again, it, this thing looks like it looks metallic and you could almost see maybe even a cut in between the sphere itself. There's that good pullout like Blake was talking about. This is how you kind of really showcase the authenticity of, of the video. This isn't CGI. Again, you see a little slight breeze on uh, the leaves from the tree, but this thing isn't moving uh, one single bit. I think right now, maybe the camera person's shifting uh, their feet, but again, I like that uh, the camera person pulls out and then pulls in. And again, we get a good close up look at what's just hovering up there. It 
it would have been nice if some of the footage that came out on the news and the tic tac and uh, the gimbal and the go faster even some of the other videos that had dropped from the military would be as clear as this and this again lasts for 12 minutes could these be drones being sent out by uh, some kind of private corporation or are there drones from something interstellar not of this earth again we're not seeing any kind of physical means of propulsion i think if this were a balloon it would have drifted off we don't see any kind of oscillation on it that would indicate that uh, it, this thing has mass and in my opinion it's metallic but what kind of metals or uh, material is this made out of that's a big question it looks like a, a ball bearing which is like it's heavy so you'd think that's a this thing could be a really dense a hard time I'm just throwing that out there again it's just right up there past the trees and this thing's not moving it seems like the the cameraman has to position himself to maybe get a better shot but again this is pretty fascinating because we don't see this all the time where people are, or they pull out the camera. Usually these UFO sightings on the average last about 15 to maybe uh, 30 seconds. Now we got a 12 minute video that we could just uh, look at it, analyze it and, and rule out a lot of things. Uh, definitely I'm ruling out that this is CGI. This is what we're seeing is something in the sky. Could it be a balloon? Again, that's a possibility, but we're not seeing uh, the reactions of a normal balloons the way they just wobble and kind of uh, don't seem to just stay steady the way this thing is i think we're about halfway through through this one and uh, we get better imagery at the end and it has more dynamic so we're excited to keep sharing this with you yeah absolutely uh raw and uncut no cut angles or anything to try and uh, basically in my opinion showcase to you that we're sharing this with you because we believe it's authentic what we're looking at, especially with uh, these, again, metallic spheres being talked about in the news, but they're not showing us any exciting footage, maybe a still photograph or uh, a few little uh, seconds of imagery. This one, again, it's raw, uh, 12 minute cut. Give, give us a big thumbs up. But guys, take a look at this as this video progresses in real time. So definitely has the same feeling and video of the Ranger H video. And if we could confirm who actually shot this and wonder what the circumstance behind this close encounter with this sphere just seemingly spying on the person shooting it. Uh, this 12 minute uh, video is quite amazing. And the dynamics behind it, uh, again, proves to us that what we're sharing with you is legitimate. The dynamics of uh, the autofocus or the, trying to focus in on the object as it blurs in and out uh, really, again, showcases, in my opinion, that what we're looking at of the optics of the camera 
uh, try to focus is not the fault of the operator. It's the fault of uh, the digital camera trying to lock in. But we we see it when you try try your best as the person is trying to do. He actually locks in in a really clear shot here. Yeah, it's interesting dynamics. Again, that is definitely the clear shot we're seeing of this. Uh, it's really good. Uh, I wish this thing would just take off or uh, do some just erratic maneuvers to prove that we're looking at technology, not from this world. But again, it, it seems like it's just there on a on a on a mission. It, it's, it's it's scanning the area, in my opinion. I like the way it's behind the trees there. It, it looked like it was wobbling, but I'm not sure if that was a, the effect of looking at maybe the tree wobble through the wind, creating an illusion that the, the craft was wobbling. Or possibly a little bit of parallax as uh, the camera operator is trying to position, uh, stepping around and moving around, uh, creating that movement. Because again, this thing is just has been hanging out for uh, 12 minutes. Uh, maybe there's subtle uh, movement by this craft as we're looking at it. Again, shifting from a little bit right to left, up and down. Are we looking at an alien gray captured via a digital camera? We're looking at this very closely. Guys, tell me what you think. We've got a lot of UFO evidence for you tonight, so buckle up. This video came into our feed just earlier today. Brent said, take a look at this. Do you see any kind of CGI manipulation? Uh, right now, at the moment, I'm not exactly sure. It looks authentic. Brent, your thoughts? Yeah, this one's making the rounds right now, and we, we had to pull it up. Our audience needs to see this. What do you think? In my opinion, uh, there's some good aspects about it. I like the way this, this being seems to be going around the agriculture, the trees. It has a nice, a nice little gate to it too as well. If this is indeed authentic, it's impressive. Could somebody be pulling a hoax? Who knows? Your your thoughts, Apollo? You know, this footage is really incredible to me because it just looks like your standard depiction of what people call the greys, you know, these short little gray guys with the kind of longer skull. And I mean, this footage is really incredible to me. It looks like someone's shining a light into the trees and they're seeing this and filming it and uh, you know, it just fits the standard description of a lot of eyewitness accounts of, you know, abduction mysteries. So it's really incredible. And uh, yeah, what are your thoughts? The more I look at it, it has this authentic uh, feel to it. Again, like you say, the lights, uh, everything's all matching up. And then again, if this were a person in the costume, look at the neck on this thing and the spindly legs and arms, which indicates to me that this would be kind of hard to pull off. I'm not seeing any kind of puppeteering. I'm hoping we could get some more information from the person who shot this. If indeed is what we're looking at, uh, something not of this earth, this is compelling footage. Guys, what's your thoughts as we're doing this live premiere right here at Third Phase of the Moon? We've got a lot of evidence for you tonight. So let's get to the next one right now. Watch this. Hey, bro. What the fuck is this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the fuck was that? Uh, we're letting the profanity just roll, but there was, uh, there was some music in the background, so we're doing a little bit of audio uh, control here so we don't have any issues. But what are we looking at in the sky here? The are we seeing any indication of FAA lights? Are these airplanes uh, in, in a trajectory from the position of the person driving into position of a, a Ford momentum of the airplane are we looking at the headlights of an airplane is what i'm trying to say brent your thoughts here are we looking at something else yeah i've seen this kind of phenomenon maybe not even called a phenomenon landing formations uh, could this be they're trans uh, just moving along the highway they're not familiar maybe there's an airport next to this place but again i don't see any uh, any lights on this blinking so there's some phenomenon to that uh fast opinions here apollo you know, it looks like it, this is something that kind of seems to be staying, hovering in the same general areas. Absolutely. Again, the footage just keeps coming in. Is Tier 3 Bs. Again, Michigan. Uh, what the heck is going on? All the footage. Listen. 
or like a giant like drone or something oh my god what the again people shock and awe of what's going on around the world it's happening in real time and these videos are being captured by the people like you and what are we looking at once again no faa lights it seems that some people might speculate this that this could be a tr3b apollo yeah it definitely looks like a tr3b or aurora craft as they've been called it's, in my opinion it's really incredible this is some really great footage i don't see what else it could be i mean what are your thoughts brent Again, if this girl's impressed, could this be new technology? It's gonna be rolled out here shortly, and we're looking at maybe possibly uh, uh, the new TR3 being, being caught by bystanders. New footage coming up right now. Absolutely, let's just look at this one a little closer here real quick. I'm seeing it uh, traverse uh, behind the trees the branches everything matches up again i'm not seeing any indication of anything that's conventional here now again uh, the videos keep coming in so uh, let's get to the next case right now something happened over los angeles and it just happened recently guys what? Behold Mom, you this. see this no holy shit what, what is, the hell is that what is what the hell what is that mom what Ma, you see this no Holy shit! What, what is, the hell is that? What is what the? Like we said, buckle up. This episode has a lot of phenomenon. And what are we looking at? Something spiraling uh, in a circular formation, but stationary in the sky. Brent, quickly. Yeah, again, the UFO is coming in so fast, it's hard to talk about everyone. But again, we're looking at a phenomenon. This thing spindly, uh, doing rotations. Again, is this a drone? New, new technology we're not familiar with? Apollo? You know, this actually reminds me a lot of things that I saw at Burning Man. They did a kind of art installation of drones in the sky, and it was very similar to this. So I have to say that's what it reminds me of. Pope of Katepitol, more footage. Uh, look at these UFOs uh, in close proximity to the active volcano. We've shown you the evidence. You hear the dogs barking. Are they... Um, uh, reacting to the phenomenon in their area i'm not exactly sure dogs ufos animals in general seem to react but are we looking at something that is seemingly uh, harvesting energy from the volcanoes it happens all the time over there brent i think over the past three years we've been delivering the best popocatepetl ufo videos on the planet again this is a pretty good one we got these two orbs one on the right much brighter and it seems to almost connect uh, maybe even a contact there it's hard telling with the distance your thoughts apollo you know my thoughts whenever i see phenomena like this happening over a volcano is the fact that volcanoes produce a lot of piezoelectric energy it's coming straight up out of the earth and it's really incredible so Again, a wild ride, more videos just in. Por qué se se detienen ahí en ese edificio? Ya van varias veces que se detienen ahí. Estás grabando. Estoy grabando video. Mira, está moviendo para otro lado. Lo que no sé si sean varias o sea una sola porque pues parece una sola. Pero ahorita tiene otra figura y ahora son dos, cuatro, seis, ocho luces. Hace ratito eran seis. Son tres rojas y tres, no, cuatro rojas y cuatro blancas. Hace ratito habíamos visto seis rojas y después seis blancas. Ya van desapareciendo. Ya desaparecieron ahorita y ahorita van a volver a salir. Where did it, it just basically vanished. We're gonna look at this a little closer. I'm gonna add some uh, brightness contrast, get some uh, close-ups close of so whatever this craft is. You could hear uh, from the eyewitness in Spanish, he's saying that he sees red and white lights, uh, maybe about eight lights altogether. But again, we're not seeing any kind of uh, indication of FAA uh, required lights from an aircraft this large in close proximity. In my opinion, I'm not exactly sure. Is this in Mexico, Brent? Any information and your thoughts on this? 
like definitely uh, I'm still looking into this I know this just came in today so this is fluid at the moment we're looking at something going over a major populated city right there is this thing uh, a structure is this uh, some big massive craft or maybe possibly a fleet of drones creating this but the parallax and even the the angles of the light seems to be like it looks like a structure to me your thoughts Apollo you know, it definitely looks to me like some sort of craft that is obviously moving across the sky. And it's interesting because all the dogs are noticing this and going off, it seems like. So they're definitely noticing a phenomenon going on. I know this is something that happens a lot with videos that are sent to third phase of moon with the dogs noticing what's going on. So, um, but this is definitely some really incredible footage. I'm looking at this and I'm trying to guesstimate the the size of this craft and i'm i'm having to say that it's at least 150 feet maybe maybe almost a football sized craft here again no a football field size craft something massive the size of a stadium over the city just uh, traversing there and again i'm hoping more people on the ground being that it seems so populated that there might be even more video of this but what kind of interests me too as as a camera person uh, keeps their uh, video camera peeled on this thing it just seems to almost fade away maybe into the cloud layer if that's what's going on or did it like stealth into a another realm i'm not exactly sure this is a wild footage brett a good one that you pulled this one up today again like i said all kinds of evidence the phenomenon's real and we're sharing it so buckle up let's uh, roll the next uh, submission into third phase moon uh, pull your eyes on this one. Uh, making the rounds once again, Twitter, I think, uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube, people are once again bringing this up. We wanted to cover this uh, really quickly uh, with regards to what we're looking at. Are, are these motherships and uh, anti-grav vehicles just hovering over neighborhoods across our planet it seems so well people when we actually dropped this on third phase moon about three years ago which we see right now it's kind of going viral like you said like on twitter kind of breaking it down like it's new news well were there the first to report this and which is interesting it is a great capture and if you capture something like this don't know what it is hey upload it to youtube share it with third phase but we we got to the bottom of this and we knew what it was even apollo was familiar with this when we broke this story because we've talked about it and we found out that this was a tower in the background with lights illuminating within the fog uh, seemingly making it look like something in the sky apollo you remember that yeah i actually do remember that and you know what's interesting is like you know in the video they it doesn't show that it ever came in or took off at any point during the video it's just been there the whole time throughout the video so that was actually my first thoughts without remembering seeing it from the time before so um yeah pretty interesting you definitely have to look at the whole video when these things come across you when you see them online uh, definitely and, uh, the person who shot it may have not known that there was a tower there and that he just uh, came across this um, spectacle of lights in the sky and was bewildered by it again more follow-up more investigation that's what we want to do here at third phase moon if if we could find out exactly uh, what we're sharing with you uh, we'll let you know as soon as we can in most cases uh, I think a lot of the stuff that we're sharing with you really can't be explained that's uh that's our goal right here at third phase of moon so again people are putting this out there on twitter facebook youtube and stating that there's a mothership out there um again maybe people need to do more follow-ups we are try our best nobody's perfect in this uh field but again if i were driving out there and i was unfamiliar with the area i would definitely want to film it so don't hesitate if you come across anything that's kind of crazy something like this if it looks or appears to be something unusual just just do it upload that video to youtube and uh and then we'll ask questions and maybe get answers later. Now, again, more videos. The evidence is uh, overwhelming this week. And I think we're going to have a lot more coming up this uh, week as well. But let's roll the next one. Guys, this one kind of had us all wondering, what are we looking at? So uh, let's pull it up right now. Oh 
oh fuck, it's like expanding and contracting. Se expande y se contrae, dice. There goes. There goes. It's lifting up. Still don't believe in fucking aliens, and I don't know what the fuck to tell you. But look at that. It's moving. Oh shit, that is fucking crazy. I have the phone on top of my car, I'm trying to keep it as steady as possible. I'll zoom out. That's what it looks like. literally just saw him move. Well, I think all the videos that we've been sharing tonight are all impressive, but did we just save the best for last? I'm not exactly sure. This is impressive. A, a bluish craft that seemingly is defined the laws of physics and it's just hovering there and at one point it just excels into uh, the stratosphere at one point and then the cameraman pulls out revealing that there's nothing attached to it i don't see anything that could keep this up in the air it just doesn't make any sense to me yeah right there it, it kind of did this really cool angle of maneuver before it shot up there we'll have to check that out again this thing's going up. I th at first, I thought this maybe could have been a reflection on the window, but or maybe even a, a CGI. But I'm looking at this, and I can tell you right now, this is a legit footage. You can see the fractions of camera, the blur. It all reacts, and this thing's moving from right to left, and makes a standstill. Uh, what is this? Is is it's just weird? I've never seen anything like this. A pullback right there really proves in my opinion that this is a legit footage right here Apollo your thoughts you know my thoughts when I see this Brent is that it really seems like this bioluminescent material which is really incredible to me because I mean you don't see this sort of bioluminescent effect anywhere else except for deep under the ocean like what if you know there's so much under the ocean it's like we haven't even explored how much is like way deep under the ocean like what if there's some sort of weird bioluminescent uh sea creature that could come up out of the ocean or something i don't know but to me when i see this it looks bioluminescent to me which is very interesting because that only happens in subterranean places naturally the idea of biological ufos we've been bringing it up for years good uh good thoughts on that again we don't claim we know exactly what we're talking about. We're just sharing with you the evidence and hopefully we could find out. And the idea that there could be biological beings that live amongst us in the skies, uh, absolutely agreed. There's so much uh, to discover. This phenomenon just goes wild. And these videos keep amazing me. Now, these photos just came into my email and we like uh, the photos of the phenomenon as well and somebody sent us this guys what's going on over here in uh, virginia hampton some people might say this is pareidolia or something else um maybe weather manipulation it's terrifying terrifying as all heck right well again uh it's a great photo. I, I believe this is legitimate. It, it good, good pareidolia. You can see the mouth, the nose, the eyes. Uh, uh, Project Blue Beam. Who knows? Again, it's it's a cool shot in moment of time, and I like sharing these. Apollo. My first thoughts are artistically when I see this is Dante's Inferno. I don't know why that's the first thing that comes to mind for me, but uh, definitely Project Blue Beam for sure. I mean you know these technologies are supposedly out there people have been messing around with them and they have that technology why not try to create something with it who knows missouri river um 
couple of guys were boating out there. Apparently, these photographs just came in. And uh, who knows what they captured. You have this sunbeam, and then this craft, apparently, in uh, the same time as these photos were taken, you see this uh, kind of like triangular craft just hanging up there. Again, there's some, something going on in these pictures. I'm hoping that there's some video that comes in uh, with regards to what we're looking at here, Brent. Yeah, last thoughts here. This could be a great natural phenomenon. We've seen it before. I think these guys on, on a good hunt, they, they captured something. And uh, this kind of phenomenon, it's very rare. Yeah, but like this is definitely pretty cool. This guy got a good shot. We're seeing this kind of translucent object. It's it's doing circles. It's rotating from uh, left to right as it dips. It seems kind of like this spiral with this kind of pinkish purple color. And again, Blake, like you said, you can see this orb next to it. Is it maybe a plane off in the distance or is this something next to it creating like a connecting to its its mothership whatever this thing is is definitely weird apollo your opinion on this you know my opinion with the color here is just really interesting i mean i haven't seen a uap in this exact color before uh i think it's really strange also the shape and the way it shoots off like that i mean that is just incredible i mean i don't understand how it's moving it forward like that you know it seems to be spinning and then shooting away and there's obviously this other light under here. I'm not sure what that is. Blake, what are your thoughts? Uh, you know, again, it's very amazing, the footage. We just don't know what the answer is to some of this. Like this one right now. Take a look at this. little side-by-side -side comparison here. All right, uh, we're looking at the original video. At first I was thinking maybe I should just pass on this one. It's not revealing too much, but then I decided to take a closer look and I can see whatever this object is, it's remaining very stationary in the sky for quite some time. And as I do a side-by-side -side comparison, it confirms that whatever this thing is, it doesn't seem to resemble any kind of conventional drone that I'm aware of, right? Yeah, definitely weird object. This thing's quite big. You can see this is off in the distance. I'm maybe estimating 15 to 20 feet. Again, uh, weird apparatus, whatever is keeping this afloat. I have no idea. Paula, you said that you saw something. You can see a space in the middle. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. That it almost seems like there's a space in the middle. Like you can see through it. You can see the sky through it. So it seems like there's some sort of space in the middle of it. And also it looks a little big to be a drone to me. Like, what is this? Yeah, now we're looking at um, military footage that has just made uh, the uh, the internet. Everybody's looking at this. Are we looking at the Tic Tac? Uh, finally, some decent footage. Apparently, this is coming from a police helicopter uh, tracking something unusual in the sky, apparently with no heat signature. Uh, I'm kind of liking this footage. And I think maybe after some of the footage that came out through from 2017 this is resembling something that maybe we could look forward to the future if they're going to drop anything from the government i highly doubt it i'm glad this is being leaked right now yeah but like i think this is coming from mexico and definitely we got a good shot here these close-ups are amazing you almost see something like like shooting some ejection off the right of that thing as it zoomed in on that close-up shot these are great what i like about it is you can see this as it resembles a tic tac but this is it's vertical it's it's, it's standing straight up which is i i find amusing this thing seems to be uh, moving on its own uh, accordance is there propulsion behind this that we're not aware of 
You know, this video to me is so much more incredible than the videos they had of the Tic Tacs that came out all over the news around 2017. I mean, it's just very clear. It's, you know, moving around a lot. And I noticed also looking at it that it seems to be very reflective. Like the sun is almost just like glaring off of it. I know they're usually metallic, which probably makes it easier for them to blend into the sky from far away. What are your thoughts, Blake? You know, looking at this, uh, is this metallic? Again, it's it's hard to tell. No heat signature. Again, I'd still like to see the color uh, video of this. And hopefully these helicopter pilots come forward with some testimony because uh, right now we're looking at something that uh, definitely resembles the Tic Tac. It's uh, curious the way it does uh, remain uh, uh, vertical in its flight pattern. And that does, definitely doesn't resemble any kind of a balloon that I'm aware of. This thing uh, seems to have caught the police officer's attention, the pilots. Again, if we could get testimony, that's what uh, we're looking for. Again, shocking footage coming into third phase. I'm going to give us a big thumbs up if you're enjoying this live premiere. Uh, let's start rolling out the next new UFO videos just in. Guys, take a look at this. Three, two, one, fire. driver uh just driving on the road sees some kind of celestial event something breaking apart uh, from the atmosphere some kind of space debris or are we looking at something that's uh, unexplained rockets missiles i'm not exactly sure what we're looking at yeah we've seen this before we've been doing this for about over 13 14 years now and we've seen these short glimpses of this kind of phenomenon could it be a chemtrail from a plane uh hard telling it looks like an upside down tuning fork it's awesome footage this phenomenon is something to look at could it just be the right conditions in the atmosphere creating uh, this kind of classic look when chemtrails happen again is this natural or, or something else apollo you know, it looks like something definitely broke apart from the way that the trail is together and then it splits off into two. Um, but what is curious to me about this is the um, the kind of thickness of the clouds that are coming down. It almost looks like it seems to me like the velocity that this object or whatever it was was going UAP, whatever it was, it must have been extremely powerful because or blew apart in a very powerful explosion because the velocity an extreme velocity would only make that kind of cloud. Oi, que wey, eso loco. Oye, no se ve. Ah, quítate por uno. Te mando el video. Sí, tú más. O o ahí la mano. Loco, el expreso polar. Comenten la vaya que quieren para que sean famosos. Mira, no vaya, cagó, cagó, cagó. Construction workers witness something again falling out of the sky. We just showed you something just moments ago of it seemingly something broke apart and split up. Now we're looking at. Uh, incredible footage of these construction workers witnessing some kind of event and again as we look at this a little closer at first i thought this should could have been a meteorite some kind of a space debris but then it resembles two lights and almost seems to slow down here look at this very closely one shot in a million these guys were in the right place at the right time to capture this yeah, Blake, I like this a lot. Here's a good close up. Again, I'm still leaning towards this being a celestial event. Could it be maybe space debris, some, something falling from a man made object, or something just from the cosmos or our solar system? Hard telling. Again, it, it's fascinating footage. I know there was a couple people that had uh, multiple angles of uh, this event. So, what we're looking at is 100% legit. We just don't know what it is. I, like you said, Blake, these two uh, points of light kind of uh, 
had this uh, surreal aspect to it. UFOs for sure. If you saw that, you'd definitely question. Again, uh, great capture here. You know, what's amazing about this to me is that it actually reminds me a lot of those old Renaissance paintings of, I think it's like Jesus and Mary, but the old Renaissance paintings of the UFOs where they're kind of flying around with this sort of like field of light coming around them. Um, I'm not sure if, you, Blake, you know what I'm talking about. Well, definitely the Renaissance photos and the biblical photos representing the, the unknown, the phenomenon, it could definitely represent some kind of a celestial event, some space debris or space junk, or maybe a meteorite. But again, I like the way these guys were in the proper uh, place and time. And that's, we're looking for videos just like this. Could this be a UFO breaking apart? And then again, forming uh, these two centric circles at one point. It's it's interesting stuff, but again, it's just an incredible capture of um, strange things that happen across our planet. So guys, don't hesitate to shoot anything that's weird. And speaking of weird, we even got more videos for you. And like I said, tonight's episode's full of UFO videos. So let's uh, bring the next one up. Uh, Brent, you pointed this out to me earlier and I said, we got to share this. You know, this is definitely the most incredible footage I've seen in a long time. Uh, the way it's morphing here really reminds me of this sort of magnetic uh, compound called ferrofluid, which actually grows into these spikes. I believe it's like hematite mixed with magnets and it, they put in this fluid and it will kind of like grow these spikes out of it. And it seems like this craft is doing that. And what's interesting about that is I think uh, nanotechnology can be used in the same way as ferrofluid or it kind of can look like ferrofluid when it morphs around like that. It can like kind of grow these spikes. So I don't know, that's what comes to mind for me with this. I think it looks really incredible. Brent, what are your thoughts? Definitely badass footage. This guy seems to be getting the most close up of a ufo that we've ever seen he, he's trying his hardest you can see when he pulled the camera back he's at pretty much some distance quite a distance away and he gets these incredible close-ups again we can see these spikes like a, a Paula talks about it looks like this acorn shape again this guy's pulling in close right there people are asking for details of uaps ufos this is it guys Oh, guys, I'm, I'm just looking at this a little closer. I'm not seeing any kind of manipulation here. What we're looking at is uh, definitely captured within the optic uh, lens of the camera person shooting it. And uh, right now I can't tell you what we're looking at. Look at the distance as he pulls in. I'd have to estimate that this thing's at least 100 to 200 feet in uh, length here. I, that's just an approximate guess, but uh, whatever it is, it's, it's massive. And again, this morphine, uh, attribute to it it seems that it has spikes at one point and then kind of morphs into a whole different kind of edge on it again i'm confused i'm not seeing any kind of gondola uh, what is behind this this is uh, good stuff here like if people want to see broad daylight uh, footage and they're wondering why it's always blurry i suggest you share this with your friends absolutely this is good stuff you can see uh, the colors here you can see I think in my opinion, this is 100% legit. No CGI going on here. We're seeing the refractions of a light hitting this uh, vehicle, if you could call it that. We don't see any means of propulsion. Could this be maybe a, a mocked up balloon? Hard telling, but what, what I like about this is that we know it's in the sky and we just don't know what, what it is at the moment. You know, again, I just want to bring up the idea of uh, nanotechnology used with this. I know nanotechnology, if it's kind of um, used in a certain way, it could, you know, morph and change shape. And uh, I'm, I know scientists are already working on this technology, and I'm sure maybe if there were ETs from another planet that were more advanced scientifically, they probably would have too. So kind of interesting. I, I like that this is morphing and changing shape. Definitely some of the most incredible footage I've seen in a long time. That's for sure. 
absolutely hands down to uh, the person that shot this um, apparently there's more video of this this is just kind of a a little fraction of time a moment in special time for this person that was there to bear witness and apparently there's going to be more footage coming from uh, this person and we're, this is just kind of the tip of the iceberg so we're we're going to be awaiting that and we're going to be keeping everybody informed but again guys i want to get your opinions what are we looking at again we got more videos coming up in just a second but please leave your comments and let us know what you really think of what uh, the phenomenon is and if you have a any explanation or maybe you captured something like this this is uh what third phase of moon is all about trying to put together a bigger picture of uh, what's going on around the world so uh, brent again you were uh, doing some uh, research and you said this came into our email as somebody said we should take a closer look so uh, let's pull that up and guys again uh, your comments and your thumbs up goes a long way now let's uh, put this video and let's get the public's reaction i love it when we hear what you people have to say take a look at this So this video came in earlier, Brett. You're you're stating that there's a, a few lights just hanging over the city, and then from what people are stating and from the eyewitness, that this thing just took off at like hundreds of miles an hour within a few moments here. Yeah, it's a curious video. What I like about it, I think this was captured from a drone, and you can see the camera is actually parallaxing with this thing as the city moves behind it. Uh, whatever this these lights are it's something to think about could it be a reflection uh, a lens flare kicking off of the lens creating this illusion that's a possibility but again i'm not seeing where that reflection would be uh, coming from we're looking at something stationary and it seems like the camera uh, drone pilot captures something and it th this thing's moving at incredible speeds it seems to pop out at the same time apollo your thoughts on this one you know, it seems to be blinking and hovering for a little bit and then takes off really fast. And I think uh, it really looks triangular to me with the way the third light in the back kind of hangs down slightly. It looks like a triangular craft. So that's really interesting. Um, obviously no FFA lights. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I've seen a drone that's looked like this before. It looks pretty big in comparison to the buildings as well. What are your thoughts, Blake? You know, looking at this, I'm going to roll out drone. I'm thinking possibly a refraction of light, maybe a lens flare. But again, it doesn't really quite match up with with that. Maybe what we're looking at is an object, one or two, or maybe just one solid craft moving and accelerating, accelerating at the speed that uh, we can explain. Again, it does seem to be something that's really there and it's not a refraction of light you see that kind of lens flare kind of mixing in and out of it but then again back to this you know i think this is the one that stood out to me in tonight's episode guys we want to have your guys comments what you think is maybe in the top i'm not sure how many videos ufo videos did we put out in this episode at least seven or eight count them down and give us your favorite but again the broad daylight stuff really gets me in this new military footage it's pretty good stuff it, it's an exciting week here yeah i think we dropped about 12 uh brand new ufo videos maybe some that were definitely not seen on our channel so it's always co good that you need to keep up that you're going to see the newest stuff here again this one out of mexico this uh military this cop uh, basically police uh, helicopter captured that object again this the phenomenon seems to be happening and ramping up and that's what i like we're going over incredible footage captured by a mav drone over california of what appears to be some kind of unknown object seemingly defying the laws of physics or are we looking at something that has an explanation guys take a look at this We're looking at an object captured once again 
that seemingly has no explanation of propulsion. We're looking at this very closely, and right now we're kind of wondering if we could see anything that indicates something that makes this other than mundane. Brent, do you have any opinions of what we're looking at? Look at the close-up. People are complaining, is there any close-ups of UFOs? Well, I don't know. We're looking at one right now. Yep, uh, DJI Phantom, he's he's getting a good shot. Again, in my opinion, I think this is man-made, conventional. But we're looking at something that's doing maneuvers that seemingly does something that we're not familiar with, with balloons or drones. You see this thing rocking and oscillating. It's not floating in the wind. There's a good close-up. Again, I'm seeing something on the right edge there. Some people may say that it's apparatus. Could this be maybe some sort of advertising balloon? We just don't know. Again, the way this is moving, this video is making the rounds. We need to share this. Okay, this one's just really weird to me because the way it moves and changes directions is just really strange because obviously it looks like a balloon but then when i look at it and i see this yellow on the side here honestly to me it looks like it says 30 on it in yellow um so i'm not sure but it, i mean the way it's changing directions is definitely really strange you know what's very strange is when i just see the maneuverability of this craft it's not uh, oscillating whatsoever as far as its uh, conventional flight pattern. Look at this yellow greenish pattern, whatever it is to the right. Is it an advertisement? Is it the number 30? I'm not exactly sure, but it's not moving right to left, up and down. It's stationary to the right. And it, this thing oscillates at these things that uh, mimics no balloon that I've ever seen. Yeah, what this kind of reminds me of is maybe about eight, seven years ago, we dropped a UFO video where there was this uh, helicopter, uh, LAPD circling this kind of same similar object that was up in the sky. And we actually talked to the helicopter pilots that night and got a, a detailed report. And they claimed that this was a some sort of an advertisement, a brass knuckles marijuana dispensary balloon. We're looking at something here that's shooting up and then we see these fantastic moves that this thing's doing. Could it be maybe something mimicking a balloon uh, with some sort of new technology, Chinese technology? Who knows? It, this is, again, a weird one. It's making the rounds on the net. It's kind of blowing up. In my opinion, I, again, I think this is man-made. I'm still just kind of uh, tripping on, on the propulsion of what this thing's doing. Yeah, you know, I definitely think this one, it just doesn't make sense to me the way that it's moving around. Uh, it definitely has some sort of technology that's making it change directions because, I mean, if it was a balloon, it wouldn't be moving like that in the air of its own accord, for sure. Again, a, a very close up, uh, uh, it's close up footage of whatever this craft is, perfectly spherical, again, very stationary even though it's doing these erratic maneuvers but the craft itself isn't oscillating left or right or up and down except the craft doing these incredible maneuvers look how fast it just speeds up there again where's the propulsion it doesn't make much sense of what we're looking at if you guys could explain uh, to us what it is we'd sure like to hear it but right now we're we're sharing it with you because it's definitely something unidentified and it's clear and we're looking at it uh, very closely what's going on over there in portsville california captured by a mav we're not exactly sure here's more video that is just coming to third phase of moon guys take a look at this popa catepatol again lights up watch As we see this plasmic orb just hovering above the cold, cold air over there, Popocatepetl, and then all of a sudden you can see the volcano, it gets active and magma starts shooting up. Is this orb being absorbed within the lava? If that's the case, we're looking at something that's unconventional, something that's not one of ours. Is this something alien in nature? 
You know, it, no, there's definitely a phenomenon with uh, volcanoes and piezoelectric energy. Um, volcanoes are really a hot spot for piezoelectric energy, and a lot of it kind of shoots up out of the ground, up out of these volcanoes, and you know, it's basically this like very intense magnetic sort of energy coming up out of there so i think it maybe attracts a lot of phenomena because maybe they're coming by and powering up as they go by like they use these things to power up i don't know so i think it's a uh, really interesting and it definitely looks like a ball of plasma to me You know, looking at this, once again, the lava seemingly engulfs uh, this orb of light. And I'm having uh, to say that whatever this orb of light is, it's it's quite large. We're going to get a closer look at this. And I'm not seeing any kind of pulsating lights that would indicate any kind of drone. And again, what's going on with Popocatepetl, like we say, almost on a weekly basis, pretty much every week we're sharing this phenomenon from this certain location. And as we're looking at this even closer, I'm, I'm saying that this is definitely behind uh, the lava there, this this light. What's your thoughts? How large is this craft if it's a, a craft or is it something plasmic or could it be biological? Yeah, we've been looking at the new Iceland eruption and some of these fountains could go 1500 feet to a couple hundred feet. Again, we're at the top of the top of the caldera, the volcano itself. So to see this light next to the, the fountain of lava, I'm comparing this thing to be maybe the size of 60 to 40 feet. It's massive. Again, like you said, like we, we could see this light, its intensity where even the, the magma would drown out anything that would be somewhat like a DJI just floating up there, you wouldn't, you wouldn't see it. So what we're looking at is something uh, powerful emitting some sort of plasmic energy. Again, this is something we, we just don't know what it is, but it is a phenomenon. You know, as I'm looking at it a little closer here, I noticed that it almost seems to have this pulsing light inside of it. I don't know if that's a reflection off the surface of whatever it is from the lava or if there's a light in it, but it kind of looks like you can see in the middle there's another light and it's sort of pulsing. So that's very interesting. You know, looking at the volcanic activity from Popocatepetl in proximity to these uh, UFOs, mm -hmm. it seems that it always uh, goes hand in hand. When there's an eruption, there's UFOs being captured, and uh, the webcams to Mexico really does a great job uh, capturing the volcanic activity as well as uh, the UFOs. But again, people will speculate that the energy from a volcano is, if you could harness it like geothermals, uh, power plants, geothermal power plants could get gigawatts of power. If you could harvest the power from lava in a close proximity and some of these craft could sustain its uh its craft without melting next to the lava i don't know is there any kind of technology that could pull that off if it's not from this wor world well we're talking about 2000 degrees and and plus again any conventional craft that we have would melt it wouldn't sustain its uh its flight characteristics Apollo had a good point. We we get this close up right here and you see this kind of pulsating light around this spherical prism with a kind of a layer, an outside layer. Again, people have talked about these kind of uh, spheres with squares in them, uh, triangles. Is this what we're looking at? Again, could this be something otherworldly or is it maybe something inner earth organic? We just don't know. Absolutely. Um, again, we want to get your opinions. And if you're enjoying this episode, we've got a lot more UFOs coming up in just a second. Give us a big thumbs up. Now, this just came in today. We want to share it with you. Guys, take a look at this one. More Popocatepetl footage. Again, the phenomenon continues in this region of uh, Mexico. Again, we just seen another orb just kind of like materialize in front of the caldera there as it makes its way from a left to right as it shoots up into space. But this thing seemingly seems to have come straight from the volcano itself. You, you, what, are your, what are your thoughts, Apollo? 
Yeah, I mean, this is so crazy because it seems like there are a lot of um, these occurrences around Popocatapetl, and it must be a really extra magnetic hotspot. Um, you know, the, it looks like plasma again to me, just like the last video, but this one is like shooting up in a really strange way, and it kind of seems to be twinkling or powering up a little bit. I don't know, I can almost see like a stream of light coming out behind it too. But um, definitely, to me, it looks like plasma again. You know, like I said, piezoelectric energy, it's a huge hotspot for piezoelectric energy, these volcanoes. So definitely very interesting. You know, when I'm looking at these videos over the years, it's, it's kind of interesting where you see them exiting and entering the caldera. And in, in this case, it's seemingly exiting or excuse me uh, yeah exiting the caldera you see it just power up at one point it's non-existent and then it just appears and then kind of shoots off upward where prior to the other video while the lava was exploding we saw it entering uh, the caldera but look at this really close it just kind of came out of nowhere and that's what indicates to me that there's something very very strange going on here brent Again, notice the features and the characteristics of whatever this is, plasmic or ball lightning, whatever you call it. Now we see this kind of space, kind of again, in the middle where it's, there, there's a an escape, it, it, there's a hollow space. I think this is infrared, so we're seeing the opposite of light. But then again, we see this kind of like a, again, spherical object with, with maybe a pulsating power within it. Pretty fascinating. It's really interesting what Blake just pointed out about the uh, way it kind of almost materializes above the volcano. Like, it, it's really interesting that you don't actually see it come out of the volcano. It actually just materializes a little above it. So that's really interesting to me, and that kind of backs up what I was saying earlier about, you know, I really feel that this uh, kind of thing happens a lot because possibly these sort of, you know, unidentified aerial phenomena are powering up above these volcanoes now again more videos just in guys take a look at this they just keep coming in it's amazing the phenomena oh, is real. Really? All right, we looked at this video earlier and we decided let's get some stabilization. Let's uh, get a closer look at whatever this unusual uh, spiked sphere is. It, it seems metallic. It almost resembles some kind of mine that you would see uh, that the Japanese would leave during World War II in, in the Pacific Ocean. It, it's just very bizarre. Is this some kind of weaponized UFO? Do you see any kind of propulsion? Or is this just a simply balloon? We're looking at this very closely. The stabilization is truly giving the characteristics of uh, this unknown object and I'm, this shit's bizarre that's all i gotta say yeah this is weird as all heck dude look at that thing you can see something is moving it's oscillating then you see this kind of a uh, protrusion at the bottom with kind of this hollow space super unusual could this I'm throwing it out there, be a pack of balloons that was manufactured on the ground to make it look like something suspicious in the sky. That's a possibility. But again, we're looking at this thing. It, it's pretty steady, uh, steady and it's, it's stationary. Again, it's not like floating and bobbing around like this uh, prop balloon. Again, weird stuff right here. This one is just crazy. I mean, the way it's morphing and changing, it definitely kind of almost seems to be morphing in this sort of geometric patterns that like kind of change different directions. And um, it reminds me a lot of some other videos that Third Face and Moon here has put out. And uh, I think it's really interesting because it kind of makes me think of ferrofluid 
which could be used with like uh, this sort of uh, nanotechnology because it's magnetic. So I, that's what I think of when I see that. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of what you would see in the Spider-Man Marvel movie. Uh, what's that guy's name? Venom. And it does have this metallic, uh, strange morphine characteristic of, of something that seemingly defies anything that I've ever seen. What kind of balloon is this? If this is a balloon, if anybody could show one like this to us, we'd like to see it. Again, we're not dismissing that it could be, but again, you have to admit what we're looking at is uh, quite bizarre. Behold the phenomenon. What are we looking at? some kind of space force program or something extraterrestrial in nature right now we have no answers but we're looking at this and it's a sight to behold we're getting close-ups of what looks to be some kind of triangular red craft that just blinks out of existence again captured from an amateur astronomer did this thing just take off at an extraordinary rate of speed brett what's your thoughts Wow, this is a big one. Uh, people are gonna be questioning this for the next month, who knows? But this could be the best ending to this year right now with this video. I'm still a little on the fence. We're looking at a good close up right there, which looks like a, people are saying a triangular object that's uh, illuminating, maybe a glow on the moon's surface. Pretty amazing if that's what we're looking at. It's good still. There's some things I really like about this, especially, when we have the open shot, when we see the clouds kind of moving within the atmosphere, it almost seems like it's in the lens. Here's another representation that we shared and broke on third phase of moon that still we're looking at these illuminated red lights right there on the surface, or is this something else? Maybe laser technology from earth? A lot of stuff going on here. You know, my first thoughts are when I saw the last video is that, um, it, you can tell that these lights are sort of reflecting off the surface of the moon, but also how big the craft was, how large it was in comparison to the size and the curvature of the moon. I know um, there's a lot of people that have been a part of or involved in Apollo missions who have claimed that there are ancient structures on the moon, possibly in craters. So this is very interesting to me. I mean, this craft definitely looked very large in comparison to the moon. So this is very interesting footage caught by an amateur astronomer. Again, secret space force or something ET in nature, or maybe some kind of laser beam action going upon the moon. We're not exactly sure, but we have Dr. J. Andy Elias. We asked him what his thoughts were. Listen to what he had to say. Oh, these are definitely exciting times right now. Again, whenever we invented the telescope, we look at the moon and the stars and the sun. What do we see here? Another object, a red-like object, it looks like triangle and it's above the moon. Is it going to a base or is it coming from a base? Now, here's another question. Is it our base or is it an ET's base? Who's watching us? Also, it looks like there's a phase next to it. Is it one triangle inverted next to another getting a bigger energy sort? Or what are the two? Why is one visible and one is very fuzzy? That's the crazy thing about it. 
Uh, one could be a mothership, actually, for that matter. But yes, the fact that it's red is very, very interesting. And of course, it's a perfect triangle on the left side. Uh, this is one of the greatest footage I've seen from the moon. We've seen lots of videos from the moon and the stars and definitely the sun getting energy. But the moon, we've been rumored to have bases there for since the 60s. And of course, the ETs, some people say they've been there for, for millennia, if not longer. So, Dr. J, appreciate you joining us right here on Third Phase Moon. And if you're digging uh, this live premiere, give us a thumbs up. But right now, once again, as Dr. J just stated, we're looking at something that possibly could be extraterrestrial in nature. And it has this weird uh, blinking out of existence. That's what's making me think that it could be some kind of maybe Project Blue Beam experiment here. Or a, another question, too. I, I look at this. There's some sort of... I'm I'm a little skeptic on some of this going on. The blinking out of of it just disappearing like that kind of throws me... I'm, not, I'm just throwing it out there. Could this be a hoax? Maybe we might find out that there's an artist that created this. This one that we broke a couple months ago, I still, in my opinion, I think this is the, the real deal. Maybe there's again new technology from the space force that are shooting uh, lasers at the moon creating this kind of highlighted anomaly maybe not even a, a real vehicle there but it creates this kind of illusion of something on the on the moon surface yeah you know that's a great point brent because you know back during the 40s or 50s they started testing at area 51 the sr-71 blackbirds and at the time you know these craft were being um, they were all over the skies at the time and people were noticing them and they were claiming, our government was claiming that they were not real and that they were not actually there. But later they claim that they are, have been around. So it's definitely very interesting and who knows, maybe the Space Force is testing out some things and sending them up there and, you know, they don't want other foreign powers to know about what it is they're testing so they can't share it on the media. Absolutely. More videos just since the third phase of moon, guys. Buckle up. Take a look at this crazy orb action, metallic in shape, spinning out of control, but seemingly in control at the same time. All right, we're gonna work on trying to get a closer up uh, shot of whatever this metallic object is. But right now it, it's captured uh, quite well from the person who shot it, broad daylight, pretty much as clear as you're gonna get as, as far as you're gonna go for UFO videos. It almost seems that you could almost identify what this is if he knew exactly what this is. I, I'm still confused. I, I have no uh, sighting of the means of uh, propulsion on this craft here. Yeah, I don't see these flying in my backyard. Could it be maybe some sort of new toy out there on the market or a drone that's uh, up there doing these really cool maneuvers? It's turning around. It reminds me of these uh, Ryan Graves, these pilots that see these uh, uh, spheres and cubes within the spheres itself. Look at this thing. It looks like a, a cube that's uh, dancing around and darting, doing these oscillating maneuvers. Could this just be, again, maybe a simple toy, a kite? I'm not sure. I don't see any string on this. I, I really like the background. Kind of has this uh, classic majestic look to it. Makes it profound. That's why we're sh sharing this. It has this unique capture. And, uh, if you know what it is, just let us know. We're bringing up the close-up footage here in just a second. You know, when I see this, I really notice how there's this flickering kind of light coming off of it. And I think it, to me, when I see this, it probably means that there's some sort of object around it. it it kind of comes out in a certain point where when it comes around and it spins around it flickers off the sunlight the metallic part of it flickers off the sunlight and it causes this flickering effect and that's what i'm noticing with this
guys, we're looking at this a little closer, and right now, again, I'm not seeing any prop propeller blades or any kind of um, wings on this thing. It just seems to be dancing up there. And from what we've heard from Bob Lazar and his statements with regards to his possible work on Area 51 uh, technology, not from this earth or recovered from an archeological dig, we have this undulating uh, situation with these craft that they're not perfectly stable is 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 this some kind of new means of propulsion that we're looking at let's just get it again a closer look on this but again i'm not seeing anything that indicates something that's mundane here we're looking at something kind of extraordinary yeah these ones always kind of fascinate me i i'm thinking this is kind of maybe a mix between a bars one of ours or maybe something otherworldly uh, i'm just not sure maybe it's something that's been here all along too at the same time people have been seeing these for centuries uh, thousands of years uh, speaking of the cube and now we're seeing something dancing glittering in the night uh, uh, maybe morning or you can see that it's just about the sun's coming down and it's kind of highlighted with really good contrast I'd, i would like to have more of this video so we'd have the full explanation of what was going on with with this but again this is a good one here's a close-up you know over my time uh kind of observing videos here on third base and moon i've definitely noticed that this sort of spinning top ufo phenomena is uh very popular it seems to come back around a lot and i did think there's something to this whether it's maybe it's some sort of nanotechnology i don't know why but that's something that really comes to mind for me um but it definitely seems like to me when i look at this that there's something on one side of it that is very more metallic than the other sides of it and every time it comes back around to the sun it glints off it and that's why it's having this sort of flickering effect Definitely, could this be some kind of practical drone in uh, this flickering effect that's going on? Uh, guys, let us know what you guys think. Again, more videos just into third phase moon, something celestial. Multiple objects captured by the public uh, around the world. Something is happening in our uh, system over our planet. And things are breaking apart over and over. We're getting these videos 
pretty much on a weekly basis of things just breaking up in the sky. Are these UFOs coming down or space stations that we're not aware of? Yeah, Chinese, Russian satellites, who the hell knows? But people are really capturing something amazing. These are great videos. These feeds that are coming in straight to third phase of moon. What a great capture. Again, I'd like to know what's happening right here. The, the phenomenon's happening. Uh, we're seeing it. Could this obviously be one of ours? People are saying we, we have crash and retrieval in our government. We, we actually have the real deal, the aliens. Is this how it would look when it happened before? You know, one point I would like to bring up is uh, the fact that I've heard it has been pointed out by people who have worked for NASA that there are there is an incredible amount of space junk up in our upper atmosphere, just kind of in the gravitational field. And from what I've heard, there's an incredible amount that's like much more than what the general population would probably believe is actually up there and it's actually really dangerous because if some of this would fall down at a certain point it could crash into you know a nuclear facility who knows it could be dangerous so um but this definitely looks like something that's almost like breaking apart in the atmosphere or it could be something that's sending out a scout craft out of um a much larger craft that's also something that comes to mind for me Again, being in the right place at the right time when you have a camera and you're witnessing something like this, this is what third phase moon is all about. When people are uh, lucky enough to be in the right place and uh, at that moment of opportune time in their life. Uh, what are we looking at? Is this again some kind of secret space force uh, blown apart? Or is this something uh, like people are indicating an asteroid that could uh, be breaking apart? I'm not exactly sure, but guys, we want to get your thoughts. Let's bring this one up before we get going tonight, because this one's important. And I think we need to ask you, the people, uh, with regards to what we're looking at here. Because this one has me still thinking that we're looking at something in close proximity to the moon. And if it is indeed that close, we're looking at something quite massive. This could be one of the largest crafts that have been captured by an amateur astronomer. And if NASA has any answers, we'd sure like to hear it, but I'm sure we're going to have to wait a very, very long time. Yeah, look at the light. It just illuminated the lunar surface, apparently. What I like is, a, again, the, the atmospheric distortion that's kind of flowing in front of the lens, which kind of leads to it being legit. There's a little pan there. Again, maybe that's an operator trying to uh, put that in post and bring that up because that wasn't a, a normal camera pan. Pen. That was uh, induced by within a computer. What we're looking at again is, is fascinating. I think we just need a little bit more uh, provenance to what we're looking at. The person who shot it and uh, maybe could duplicate this. Yeah, obviously this thing, whatever it is, is very large in comparison to the surface of the moon. But when it blinks out like that, it's like you don't see it there anymore. There's nothing, you know in the darkness hovering above the moon in the shadow after it blinks out so is this thing whatever it is interdimensional i mean there's definitely something there that is reflecting a light off the surface of the moon but you also see the light in the perspective of the other side of it and it's also triangular so i mean is this some giant mothership that is that goes interdimensional above the surface of the moon i don't know some things to think about, but what's been going on over the past uh, month in these crazy encounters, again, we're gonna bring up something that was breaking news right here at Third Phase of Moon, I think about two weeks ago, of this strange light appearing within the crater of the moon. And people are speculating that this is proof of some kind of a base on the lunar surface, or could it be some kind of just laser system uh, projecting from Earth onto the crater itself. I, I'm not exactly sure, but even more footage that has been captured. And I think this one came in from one of our satellites that's orbiting our satellite, known as the moon, of some strange anomalies within the crater itself here. 
yeah, I can see uh, left to right some of the these popping lights. Could it be maybe the glistening of the sun right on the right edge that's popping off some canopy? Who knows? Uh, again, is this a proof of something on the moon's surface, a, a base? You know, one thing we have to keep in mind here is that there are other foreign nations that have their own uh, sort of space programs going on. The Chinese, the Russians, they have their own secret missions. Even the U.S., they have their own secret missions where they've been sending people on missions up to the moon. And, you know, these aren't really documented at the time, but they come out later. And if you look it up on Wikipedia, many more people have been in the moon than most people are aware of. Just look it up. The phenomenon's real, everybody. And if you've captured it, submit it to us right here at Third Phase of Moon. My email is in the description. Upload that video to YouTube. Copy paste that link to my email. Everybody, thanks for joining us. Keep your eyes on the skies. Be safe. We'll see you next time.